Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. Today in this video, we are going to create data tables in Elementor for free. So if you need tables like these, where you can have a set of data for comparison, for features, where you can display images, icons and details like these, you can do it easily by watching this video. This is the first example where you can see car details, then some features and different car models. So you can have different colors for these, you can have different background colors. You can highlight some rows and you can even link these items to a specific page or a website. Then this is another example so you can use this. You can also use these tables for menus like these are days, breakfast and lunch. There is another example for cryptocurrencies but you can use this for different purposes. This is another one and this table also have this export option by using which you can export the table data in a CSV or XLS format. You can also search for a specific item in this table and it will work without page load. Let's try searching something like cheese. You can see the results. Let's remove it. Scroll down. We have another similar example. Another one with images on the left side and then some details, name, detail, price. Then we have a comparison table between these phones and a data table for features. And another one. So let's see how we can have tables like these in our website absolutely for free. The plugin that we will be using in this video is Royal Elementary Dons. You can download this plugin by following the first link in the description. And besides the data table, this plugin has lots of cool widgets available for Elementor by using which you can improve your design and functionalities. It also has some WooCommerce widgets and WooCommerce page builders and some ready made templates that you can use for a complete website. And this theme also has a theme builder for which I have a dedicated video. Let's scroll up to download the plugin. We will just click on download plugin here. And we'll click download again. It will give us a zip file like this one. Now we just need to upload this to our Wolfis. And this is a Wolfis website created in our last video. And let's try creating tables on this page. You can go to plugins from here. Or you can go to dashboard. Then go to plugins. Click on add new. And you can upload that plugin over here. Just click upload, choose file and select Royal Elementor add-ons, open it and install now. And plugin installed, let's go ahead and activate it. Once you activate it, you can just allow and continue. And after activating, it will take you to its dashboard and this will show you all the templates available in this plugin. Again, you can import these templates and you can create a complete website for which I have a dedicated video if you are interested you can watch that. It also has the theme builder that I mentioned earlier. By using the theme builder you can create theme parts like header, footer, archive, single product pages and product single pages using free elementor. And coming back to the topic of this video we will go to royal errands. This is for dynamic content let's close this. And these are the widgets available in this plugin. We need to enable the data table which you see over here. It's already enabled, so that's fine. Now let's see how we can create the table. So let's go to our pages. Now you can add a new page or you can edit any of your existing pages. I'll go with the home page. And now you can create the table anywhere on this page. And let's say we want to create it over here. I recorded this video previously, but I'm recording this again due to the uh, audio problem. Okay, so this is the table I created. Let's try adding a new table, ok? So we will just search for table here. And this is the data table, so we will just drag this over here. And instantly you will get a design table that you can customize. Let's remove this. Now you can customize this based on your need. And this is the header row and these are the normal rows. Now let's see how we can customize them. For the data type, we have two types. One is custom and one is CSV which is available in the pro version. You can upload a CSV file and you can display it in a form of table like this, okay? And for the custom, you will get values here in the content. We will cover this later on, okay? Then these are some pro options that I showed you in the demo. And if you want to enable equal column width, just enable it. And this is for the row index, which is this numbering. You can hide it if you want to. Then prevent world ref. This is basically for the world cutting, so if you have large content, this will cut the walls here, okay? That we will see later on. And by this option, you can export the table data. Let's go to header, where you can customize the header. 
this is table header one which is this one you can change the text over here you can add a media like image or icon then you can change the color and background let me quickly show you this one then you can follow the same for all these let's write something like and we will also enable media and this is an icon the icon position is on left you can choose a different icon from here let's say this one then you can change the icon color if you want to and you can also change the text color and background color for the text okay i have some colors here so i'll just use this one okay and then we have this call span call span means the number of columns this header will take okay if i increase it now you can see it took two columns if i make it three this will take three columns here okay let's go back to two okay and this is the alignment which is self-explanatory and same goes for the header too again you can change the text add media colors and background colors and this time we will add an image here okay so i will change this to image then i can upload an image here or i can use any of these images let's try using this one this is the image you can change the image width or size then scroll down and all these options are similar that I discussed. So in this way you can customize the header content. Later on we will see how we can change the whole header and the style tab. Now to make changes to this content, you can go to content. And the first one is a row. This is just a row which will start a new row, okay? And you can change the color for it, also the background and alignment. Then this is the content one, which is this one. Let's change it. And if you want to link this to a page or a website, you can write your own link here. Now this will be linked to this website. Again, you can add media, you can show tooltip and pro version. And you can change the color for this specific one and background color and background on hover. And let's say I want to highlight this row so I can add a background color to it. And I'll change the text color as well. Okay. Now I can also change the color on how. Then we have the call span. So again, this will take two columns like this. And this is for the row span, which will increase the number of rows. And just like this. I am just showing you, you can design the table based on your need, okay? Same goes for content too, which is this one. You can change the content, the URL and colors. And same goes for all these. If you want to add a new row, just click on add new item and the row type will be row and it will start a new row now if you add any item under it it will go in this row okay so i'll change this to column then this is the content and link and so on so in this way you can create a table based on your need you can add images you can add icons now if you want to change the global style of it just go to style tab here and this is the table minimum width and the borders let me increase it to show you okay these are the borders this is the border color let's go back to one and the border radius and transition then we have header so this is the background color for all the headers okay if i change it this will affect all the headers then on hover i can give it another color and then the typography where you can change the fonts, font width, style and size and so on. Let's say you can notice it over here, okay? And then this is the icon size. For this icon, the padding, margin and icon margin. This is basically the spacing. Okay. You can play around these values and you can make it the way you want it. Same goes for content. And this is the color for the all rows, okay? So 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. This is color and this is the background color which is white. And then for the even rows we have this background color which is this one okay. So this is just for differentiating. You can keep the same color if you want to. And again typography, icon size, image size. This will affect all the content okay. So in this way you can create a table and then you can customize it. Now let me show you how you can get a demo table and then you can customize it okay. For that we will scroll down. And we'll click on this Royal Elementor logo. And here you can import a complete page. Or a section like this. This is for the menu. Okay, headers. 
or a block where we have different blocks and here we will search for a data table and these are the tables that I showed you in the demo and let's use this one so I'll just click on insert and we got the whole table I can change the title description and then the content inside this table so this was how you can create data tables in Elementor for free again this plugin is really powerful you can get this by following the link in the description you can download it for free and for more tips like these just follow my channel and still if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next